Feature Friday, all of my quilting friends. It's nice to have you guys back with us. Today I'm going to go over a feature that you might not know existed on your robotic system and you might not know you even needed. I am going to go over how to export PDF thumbnails of the patterns that are loaded on your robotic system. You might wonder, well, why would I want to do that? Um, I find it easier sometimes to have paper copies of my patterns available as I am trying to choose what I want to do on my quilt. And if you're someone who quilts for other people, it might be nice to have paper copies of your patterns available so that they can choose what they'd like to have put on their quilt. So when I say thumbnail, I am talking about these little pictures that you see here, and we are going to print out copies of these little tiny pictures. Um, so let me show you how to do that. We are on our robotic system and we are in patterns and we are gonna go to import export. So I'm gonna touch that and we have a new screen here. I want to point out to everybody that we are going to export these PDFs to our device internally and then copy and paste them onto a USB stick. So I am gonna tip up my display here so you can see that I have a red USB stick plugged into the bottom of my display screen into a USB port that I had here, but I also have a second USB port here. So I had two USB ports available to take a USB stick. So I have one plugged in right here. You have to plug this in before you start this process. So I've got my USB stick plugged in. And the button we're going to be using is export PDF. But above that, it says due to copyright issues, patterns may not be exported. We are not exporting patterns, so we're not breaking any copyright issues. We're just printing the thumbnail of the pattern. We're not actually printing any pattern design elements or anything that would be a copyright problem. So we are gonna start by hitting export PDF. And when we do that, we get a little box that comes up that says select storage location. Like I said, we're gonna download all of this information internally and then copy and paste it onto our USB stick. So we're gonna hit internal. When we do that, we get a screen that looks very similar to many of our computers at home and we need to select where we're going to download this to. We are going to hit Files and highlight that, and we are gonna put this in our Downloads. So we're gonna highlight that. When we highlighted Downloads, it put the word Download here at the bottom under Directory, and if we come over to the right side of our screen, it says Choose, so we wanna hit Choose. And when we do that, our screen has taken off. So it is now exporting all of our files according to their tag. So you may see the names of designers or design houses or certain tags flying across the bottom of your screen right now. And when they're finished, we're gonna get a big up oh, check mark. All of our files have been downloaded under images and PDF of Perfect Stitch. So those are words we're gonna be looking for as we go to find this to copy and paste it. So I am gonna hit check mark here. And now we have to go to our internal storage to find where everything has downloaded. So I'm gonna to go to my center button to come out of my program. And I'm gonna swipe upward to get to my Explorer file. This is where all my files are stored. When I touch on Explorer, I get this page here. So that may look familiar to some of you. And remember, we stored all of this internally. So I've got internal memory, but I've also got USB memory. So we're gonna find our download in internal memory and we're gonna copy and paste it and then put it onto USB memory. So we're gonna be working between these. I'm gonna start with internal memory and we downloaded, so we are gonna go to download. 
And remember, these are words that came up in that box before we hit that check mark. Images was another word in that. So we know there's our file location is in images. And there is that perfect stitch PDF. So there's all of our design files. For us to be able to copy this so we can paste it onto our USB stick, we're gonna long hold our finger on perfect stitch and it gives us a little menu so that we can hit copy. So now we've copied that and we need to put it onto our USB stick. So we have to go back to where that said USB. I'm gonna hit my home button and now I've got that word for USB. I'm gonna hit USB and it has come up with a list of things that are on my USB drive currently. I am going to hit the word editor because we're gonna edit what's on here already by adding something to it. So I'm gonna hit editor and I've got the word paste available to me so I'm gonna hit paste. And when I do that, I now have my perfect stitch files available. So they are now on my USB stick. Pretty quick and simple. Now we need to eject our USB stick safely so that we can put it in our computer and print out our files um, so we have paper copies. Up here at the very top, you've got your little USB indicator that there's one in there. If you put your finger up here and drag it down, it is going to allow you to eject your USB stick safely. So I can now take that out, pull it out, and now I can put this in my computer, open up my drive, and print out all my thumbnails. And when I print out all my thumbnails, this is what I'm getting. So we've got the designer or the design house or a category and then little thumbnail pictures of the design. So you can look ahead of time before you ever get into your robotic system at what's available to you and choose what you'd like to put on your quilt. And if you quilt for other people, um, this is a great way to allow them to look at what's an option for quilting on their quilts without them having to page through your actual robotic system. I hope this was helpful and something that you might use that you didn't know you had available to you. Thanks so much for joining us today. I hope you guys have a great afternoon. <music>